Okay guys, I'm back and we are working on page two of Chow Bella Underwater Club. So we're gonna do kind of an interesting flap. Um, so we're gonna have a flap and there's gonna be a pocket on each flap. So you're gonna need two eight by, I'm sorry, yeah, eight by four and a half. Two eight by four and a half. Score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. Then you're gonna come down three inches and mark a tick and you're gonna cut a diagonal from eight inches to three inches and you're gonna do that on opposing sides okay so make sure that you aren't um, cutting into your score line you're always gonna cut down from the score line okay so come start at the corner come down three inches and cut your diagonal and those are gonna be the first flaps that we install here My thumb's not working today. It keeps locking up on me. All right. My tape tear tool. And then real quick, I need to trim that off. Okay, so these are going to go left and right. There's going to be a V in the center. I need to burnish this real quick. Okay, just checking to make sure it's going in right side up. Our first flap. Now we're going to do another flap. If you want, you can also do a decorative border um, die here because it only needs to be four inches wide, but I just decided to do a straight diagonal. So we've got our left and right flap. So the next thing, they're not quite lined up right. Oh, I might have to fix that. Yeah, I can see this one's a little bit high. But I'm gonna go ahead and add my next layers on. Um, and then if I decide I can't live with it, I'll take I'll remove this whole flap. So then the next piece is going to, you're gonna start with seven inches tall by four and a half inches wide. Seven by four and a half. Do I have that right? No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna take that back. Seven and a half by four and a half. Seven and a half by four and a half. Because this is actually gonna be a, a diagonal pocket. So we had to add a half inch to the width and length. Seven and a half by four and a half. Score a half inch on the four and a half inch side and a half inch on the seven and a half inch side. And then it's gonna go in flush with the bottom of each flap. I'm just gonna put a piece of paper in here so you can kind of see what's happening. And then we're going to line goes this way. This top flap is going to have this as a liner and then this will be your pocket. Is that, so hopefully that'll look clear. And I'm just putting here, these down for contrast so you can see. There's gonna be a one inch drop from the primary flap to the slat pocket slash stash that goes on top of it, okay? So again, two of these, seven and a half by four and a half, score a half inch on the seven and a half, seven and a half and a half inch on the four and a half. So I need to put some tape on these.
Okay, so this one's gonna go on the left hand side and it should go flush with the edge and flush with the um, score line. mark here so you're going to wind up with this little slot okay we're going to do that again on this side and we take Now, that's going to bother me, so I'm going to shift this down, but we can go ahead and glue our papers down because it won't matter. So for the, um, the first layer, we're going to use this is from the 12 by 12. Now this is supposed to look like um, mermaid scales, so I'm going to put this in so we have some contrast here. So it's going to go in like so, and I need to find my eraser because i got to get rid of that pencil mark. Okay, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so that's in. So the next thing is we're going to put in this um, little strip. And it's just to cover this backing. It does, didn't have to be, I mean, it could have been a strip like this, but it was actually just easier to cut my trimmer this way. Whoa. size.
not as bad as I thought. I am going to see if I can't lift this with my spatula. If not, I will um, put some undo on it and uh, take a break and then we'll come and finish the rest because I'm ready to work on the inside, but can't do that until I get this flap fixed. It's not wanting to give, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a little undo. Um, a scrapbooker's best friend, spatula's number two. Be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. In the interest of time, I just re, um, reapplied it with glue, which you can always use on your hinges. I just find I get so messy with it um, that I, I wind up with glue everywhere when I'm trying to do my hinges. Okay, so I've got that matched up now, so we are ready to go ahead. I better double check that. Um, and add what is going to be the inside of this. It's taking its time to dry because of the undo. Okay, so this is gonna go in the center. One more time before I glue it down, I'm going to check that it didn't move. It has not. There we go. Okay, so now when you close it, you get this little peekaboo here, which I think is super cute. Then to hold everything together, we've got this semi pocket, and he's gonna slide in, and he's gonna hold these flaps closed for us, okay? So we see this, there's not much to see. You pull it out and you get a face here, then you get this peekaboo, and then you open up. So the next thing we need to do is to add the backs here. So I need to take a break. I'm gonna let this thoroughly dry. And then when we come back, we're gonna line the inside and that is going to be it for page two. Be back in a flash. Okay, I chose uh, this from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Um, on the flip side um, is fish and uh, lots of other fun things, but I think it's a little too busy for a page and it's really hard to figure out looking at it where to put a photo. So by using the flip side, it's very easy to see where you're gonna put a photo and you could still put photos here. I would put, in fact, I'll show you what I would do in a second. photo here and a small photo here and then of course here and here alternatively if you kept this very simple like a background page and you had a kissing photo of a couple or a couple's faces you would put that photo here and it would be the peekaboo that shows um, when you have the uh, page closed before you take the insert out. Oh, I'm very close to the hinge. I hope it'll want to stay closed. So a picture of a couple right here. And they, you know, the rest of it could be this way. 
What do you guys think? I like it. I think that's a, I think, I just think it's super cute. Super cute. I might have to add a second side to this guy to stiffen him up. I'll, no, it's holding fine. But again, if I have additional paper, I'm going to cover the back side or make it into a bifold by adding um, a seven by seven and a half scored half inch on the back side. So it'll really depend on how much um, uh, material I have left as I go through the build process. So I think it's fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is page two. Oops, I want to put it in here. <laughs> That's my first instinct. Okay, I haven't done one of these pages in a long time. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll be back soon with page three.